We need your support for the Medicine Man Gallery channel, so make sure to click the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video, which we do every morning on Wednesday and Friday. See you soon. So I've been in the art business for 30 years, and there's a few do's and don'ts that I would probably tell you to do or not do if you're an artist and you're trying to get into a gallery. One, have a website, have social media, have some form of electronic uh, biography that the, the gallerist can review. That's a do. Another do is send them the information beforehand. <clears throat> don't just show up. And that's a don't. Don't just show up to an art gallery and expect that they're going to look at your work and make a decision. And that's really a, a good don't because the problem is you could be a really good artist and if you just show up, they may blow you off. They may be busy. Something may be in the way. And without an appointment, you're not going to get the real attention of the gallerist or maybe the person who makes those decisions. So don't just show up without looking uh, at their schedule and calling or emailing or doing something. The other thing I would say as far as a gallery, do talk to your friends that are artists and see what they have to say as far as is this a good gallery or not? Because you know, you might get into a gallery and you think, oh, that's great. But if it's not a good, reputable gallery, you can also lose your paintings. And I hate to say it, but there's galleries out there that will take an artist, especially somebody who maybe is just getting started. They'll sell their material and then they're, you know, they're off or they won't pay you. Do also, if you're going to leave the paintings with a gallery, make sure you have a consignment form, something in writing of what you're going to get and what they're going to get and when they're going to pay you. Because if you just walk out, Without any paperwork, you've basically just given them a painting. You know, most gallerists are going to, you know, treat you correctly, but there are some out there who are just going to take complete advantage of you. So these are some of the do's and don'ts that you really want to think about when you're starting out, when you're getting a gallery or you're looking for gallery representations. They'll cut out a lot of problems for you if you just follow a few of those little rules.